Um, I'm so glad that you actually asked me to help you with your booty shaping because yeah. <laughs> it's really, um, I've got a couple sensitive topics to myself, right? Because of like the changes have gone in my body and what I've been able to do in mine. And, and we, we both have a lot of commonalities in the sense of the integrity of our skin. Yeah. And then also that we've also done a lot of weight loss. We've had yeah. a lot of achievement in losing and releasing some pounds yeah but then we've got uh, this skin that we've got to be careful of at at um at this point with a little bit of like less integrity in our skin and we want to build the prettiest shapes and keep the tissue as healthy as we can without yeah. actually diminishing any kind of size or anything to the right. butt so right that is what i kind of want to teach you today is like yeah. how to be safe with it and then how to, what to do more often with it. And then um, if you thought about having yourself a next tool, give me one moment and get the pro nugget. Now I'm not, I'm very careful about how I teach people to use this. Okay. So at the very end, I'm going to, I'm going to show you what, if you got this tool, what you would do additionally with this okay. tool. Okay. okay. Now the most important thing to think about is our rear end and looser skin, we want to try to create as much circulation as possible, mm -hmm. but we don't want to take away that size. So how do we do okay. that? We do that using the small tooth tools. Okay. okay. So let's go ahead and go ahead, grease up uh, your, your rear end, and let's focus okay. on all the corners of the rear end also. So okay. I will demonstrate to you what I want you to do. So for an example, can you see my rear end? Yeah. Okay. So we want to take off this corner and this corner. Okay. But we don't want to lose volume here. Right? right. So it's like for me, I let myself have more cellulite on my butt versus run the risk of making it smaller. Yeah. So I want to focus on this quadrant and this quadrant. Okay. Um, The most with some circulation in the middle. So okay. let's go ahead and grease up. Okay. Make sure you do a decent amount by your hip. Okay. Because I noticed that your hip has more of a ridge on it. So you want to make sure that we're doing that well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to take the small tooth tool and you're going to warm up a lot right by that hip bone. And okay. when I say by the hip bone, I mean like right in back of that, almost on the side of it and everything and trying to calm your fingers holding it and okay. just using the pressure of your palm right so you're not gripping too much okay okay so dom can yes yeah, so you yes exactly hear it over that hip bone almost right mm -hmm. it's just on the side and then do it more a little bit more in the back corner there you go and get that going to where you feel like there's warmth in there okay so I'm feeling warmth on mine. Are you feeling warmth? Um, not quite. Okay. I like that little bando top. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's a, it's not the top that goes with these bottoms, but I just yeah, I like it. Quickly. Okay, now. Let's think about pushing your leg back. So it's not a pretty sight, but okay. it's pushing leg back and you're going to take leverage with your palm again. And you're going to do the bottom corner where it starts to meet the IT band. Okay. And right underneath your butt, right? So your leg is kind of at a diagonal back. Oh, at a diagonal back. Okay. Yes. Now, can you step back a little bit more so I can see? Yeah, let me move this chair. Okay, just a little bit. I just need like about another, another maybe foot back. This way. Okay, that's better. Yep. Thank you, Dom. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And then use the weight when you're going down to mm -hmm. save energy. You use the weight of your hand pushing down and then you just lift your arm up. So you don't think about scrubbing so much on the way up. You're trying to conserve energy. Okay. And use the weight down. Yeah, because it is exhausting. Yes, and these are little ways that'll keep you doing it, right, as a lifestyle. Yeah. And as soon as you feel like you've got some heat in that area, 
Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. And get a little bit more for underneath that butt. Okay. Underneath that butt cheek. Yeah, that's warm enough. Okay. So now we're going to go really light, but brisk on the meaty part of the cheek. Now I've got extra skin. And what I have found that works better for me is raising my leg up. Oh, okay. And so that it stretches out the skin a little bit on me. Okay. So put your leg up on the chair if you can. Table. Yep. And then okay. just get the meaty part of that butt and just trying to, you're thinking about warming that up. Okay. Warming okay. that cheek up. So am I needing to get this suit out of the way? Um, yeah. Like I'm trying to do the pretty much the meat of my bo booty cheek. Okay. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. And you're really trying to move fast and really get that warm without pushing a lot of pressure on it. Okay. I think I need more oil. I'm starting to get sticky. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Better to have too much oil than not enough oil. Okay. Better. Good. And then you let me know when that's nice and warm on you. And I'm going to look a little closer. Okay. Don't go too hard. Go light. Okay. Light, light. There you go. Okay. So now let's get our bigger tooth tool. Okay. And let's rinse and repeat on the corners. So we're going to do the top corner and then the bottom corner, right? Okay. So remember, you're going to spend the energy on the down because it's got natural momentum. And okay. then you just lift your arm up and you're going all behind that high hip bone. You're trying to take care of that ridge that squares you off. Okay. Yes. Think about scrubbing that ridge right away. So I am going over the bone a bit. Is that correct? Oh yes. Fascia okay. goes over bones. I do not, I do not sway away from bones at all. I go lighter, but I go right over those bones. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> Looking pretty. Good and red. Okay, now extend the leg back, okay. right? And get like right at the IT band and right at the very bottom crease of the booty. And you're going to focus on the down. Yep. Okay, that's good, Dom. Good spot. Good. Getting itchy. Good. Circulation. Yeah. Alive. Okay. Now, I don't want you to use this on your butt. Okay. Oh. The only thing we're going to do on the butt cheek is take yeah. the pointiest end. Yeah. And we're gonna go to where the cellulite is. Now, okay. um, if I remember right from your photo, I've got my cellulite kind of underneath here. Yep, and I right think here. you've got your cellulite a little bit like up in the yeah. middle of the cheek. Yeah. And then down here on the side. Yeah. So take that pointy area in the middle of your cheek and just do poke, wiggle, wiggle. And I'm gonna do mine at the lower part. Okay. Now, yeah. ideally, I can't see from here, but ideally, if I were looking in a mirror, am I poking into the, to a dimple itself? Yes, you're poking into the dimple and then right around the dimple. Now, okay. you also have those lines that come here. I do. Yeah. So then remember what I taught you about on your face, what to do with lines? Yeah, cross grain. Yeah. Cross fiber. So you're going to do oh. that great kind of crayoning motion on those areas on you. Okay. And I can feel this. I can feel the underlying fascia. I'm going over it. Yeah, good. You can feel the ridges of it. Yeah. Okay. And the last move that I'd like to show you is taking the original mm -hmm. and making sure you're well greased up at the glute hammy tie-in. Okay. I've got to get more oil. I do too. And leg up, 
And what you're doing is you're just trying to unadhere them. So you're just going back and forth. And as you get seasoned, you can put the tool on its side. Okay. So now you might start flat. Okay. And then as you get more seasoned, you can take it at its side. Okay. Okay. So let's just do flat. And remember, it's curved. So we've got to come out a little bit on the outside, a little bit on the flat side, a little bit on the inside. Try to relax your shoulders some more and just try to get a rhythm going with the momentum of the tool going back and forth and just stay at that glute hammy tie-in. Okay, so that's it. I want you to do that to the other side when we're off, but I wanna show you what I would do if I had, if you had the pro nugget. Okay. I, you're just gonna go in and put it all against it. So you're just pushing it in and you're gonna do poke wiggle. Poke wiggle. Oh, okay. With six of points at the same time. Correct. Okay. 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 But you don't wanna scrub your rear end size for you with right. the big tooth tool. Right. Okay. Okay. Because we want to maintain size. Yes. 